My great-grandfather was Brigadier Ivan Simpson. He was born in India in 1890 and commissioned into the Royal Engineers in the UK in 1910. He served in France from 1914 to 1918 during the First World War and was wounded. Between the wars, he spent time at the War Office in London and in the UK, but he also served in India and Burma. He was then sent to Singapore by the War Office in May 1941, arriving there in August and he took over as the Chief Engineer. He was one of the leading officers at the time um, of the surrender to the Japanese in February 1942. There's even a wax figure of him at Fort Canning in Singapore today. After the surrender, he then spent three and a half years in a Japanese prisoner of war camp. After the war, my grandfather wrote a book called A Little Too Late, I have it here. This book is about his experiences and the mistakes made in the defense of Singapore. The official history of the war admits to only some of the errors made. And one of the issues was that when, when he was sent to Singapore, his superiors said to him that his main, his main goal was to build defences. However, his superiors didn't give him written confirmation of this. So he was unable to do, so it was impossible for him to do anything. So the landward side of Singapore was left virtually defenceless. He tried to convince the commanding officer, Percival, during the 10-week campaign against the Japanese, but he refused to listen. And according to my great-grandfather, this is the main reason that Singapore fell to the Japanese. My grandfather on my mother's side, Nikolaus von Dijkhausen, was a 10-year-old boy um, when the Second World War broke out in 1939. His family lived in Den Haag, The Hague in the Netherlands, and his father owned um, a, a well-known super supermarket. And after the Germans came and occupied the Netherlands, most of the Dutch men were sent to Germany to, to work in the factories. <clears throat> And my grandfather's brother was going to be sent, but he hid and joined the Dutch resistance. Because of the shortage of labor, my grandfather had to help out in the supermarket and he had to deliver food to different areas. But he had to do all of this on his bike with wooden wheels. The reason it had wooden wheels was because the Germans requisitioned all rubber items. My grandfather also kept rabbits. He kept rabbits because there was also a shortage of food. And he killed and bred these rabbits so that there was a, a food supply that, they could, that his family could live on, well, that our family could live on. But, and he told me one day that one reason he never grew very tall was because since there wasn't a lot of food growing, going around, he, he didn't have enough food during the, the, the stages that people, that boys usually grow at. After the war, my grandfather joined the Dutch army and was sent to Indonesia to fight in the Indonesian War of Independence. He was 17, but after a year of fighting, he was promoted to a lieutenant. He remembers leading, he, he said to me one day, he remembers leading his men into the jungle where someone threw a grenade. Luckily, he wasn't injured, but he did lose some of his hearing. Well, most of his hearing, yeah. Um, but when he came back to the Netherlands, the army said to him, um, well, suggested to him that he should become an engineer, which he did. And it's quite a coincidence because my great-grandfather and my grandfather both became engineers. Thank you.